Understanding your social media audience is crucial to the success of your social media. By understanding who your audience is, you can create content that resonates with them and effectively use social media to achieve your goals. Here are a few tips for finding your target audience in social media. Use social media analytics tools. Most social media platforms provide free analytics tools that allow you to see information about your followers. Like in this example of Facebook and Instagram followers, which you can look at on your Meta Business Suite. This data includes information about their demographics, their location, and by analyzing this data, you get a better sense of who your current audience is and if you're attracting the right people with your content. So let's have a look at how we get there. Head to your Meta Business Suite at business.facebook.com. Here, you'll find your free dashboard, which has information about your Facebook page and Instagram account within it. You can get that all set up in settings. But down the left-hand side, head to Insights and have a look at the date range which you would like to analyze. Here, you can get information about your audience on both Facebook and Instagram looking at age and gender, and your top towns and cities. Research your audience. So look for opportunities to learn more about your target audience through research, like conducting polls in social media, surveys via email, or using tools like Google Analytics to gather data. In this example, these brands have used Instagram story poll stickers to find out more about their audience's desires and also to gather feedback about their products. You can add a poll onto an Instagram story sticker photo or video and it allows you to see the results live too. You might use a platform like Google Analytics to understand more about your website audience. Google Analytics is free to install on any website, but does need a little bit of setup time. Once it's set up, you can head to an area of Google Analytics called Audience. This is down the left-hand side. In Overview, this will tell you a little bit more about your audience and how they use your website. And in Demographics, you can find out more about their age and their gender. Remember, this isn't all of your visitors. This is only showing us data about people who have given their permission to Google. Monitor your competition. So keep an eye on your competitors' social media accounts to see which platforms they're using, who they're targeting, and how they're engaging their audience. This can give you valuable insights into what might work for your own target audience. So have a look to see whether your competitors are on Instagram or TikTok, whether they're using stories or reels, what kind of content they post, and how often they upload fresh posts. You can use Facebook's free benchmarking tool to compare the performance of your business and content with other similar businesses on Facebook. Simply head to Meta Business Manager once again and click on Insights Benchmarking. Here you can add both Facebook and Instagram pages to see how their followers change and also how much content they're producing. So this is a really good analysis to keep track on where you are compared to the performance of your competitors. Use social media advertising. Many social media platforms offer paid advertising options that allow you to target specific audiences 
based on their demographics, their interests, and their location. By using these tools, you can reach your target audience more effectively. You might have noticed ads like this in Facebook and Instagram before, and they always come with the word sponsored underneath the name of the business advertising. So here's a couple of examples of pubs advertising on Facebook and on Instagram. They're using great photography, also videos, but not in this case. And you can see they've got short copy with clear benefits of why you should come and visit the pub. It's relatively quick and easy to set up and any business page on Facebook or Instagram can do this advertising. So we're going to look at how you would boost a post on Facebook, which is this kind of advertising. So take a post that's already live on your Facebook page and look for the boost button underneath. This is only visible to admins of the page. This will allow you to get more people to see and engage with your post by paying for visibility in the platform. Here you can choose your goal and in this case, we're going to change the goal to website visitors. Get more website visitors. Once you've selected this and saved it, you can also add in your URL in the box. So think about where you want to send people directly through to, perhaps a booking page, a menu page, or a contact page. A little further down, you can see the audience section. This is where you can choose who is going to see your ad. You can create a new group here, and this will allow you to input some data around age, interests, and location. Give your audience a name so that you can test it out and save it for next time. I'm going for an audience of 25 to 50 year olds for my gin tasting evening. You can add in specific locations around the UK and you can also pinpoint on a map if you wish. So you could find your pub, drop the pin and this will pick up the exact coordinates of your pin. And there you can change the radius of where you want to target people on Facebook and Instagram. You can go down to a one kilometer radius, but I would only recommend that in a high population area like a city. I'm now inputting some specific interest targeting. So you could try general things like gins, cocktails, Sunday roast, um, whatever it is that you feel that your audience might be interested in. You could also try brands, football teams, or specific celebrities or TV programs if it's relevant to what you're advertising. Once you're happy with your estimated audience size, you can see mine right at the bottom there is 11 to 13 and a half thousand people. That sounds about right in terms of how many people I want to get in front of then you can save that audience on the bottom right hand side. This will allow you to come back to that audience at a later date, either through Facebook or via the Instagram app. Facebook will calculate your estimated daily results over on the right, depending on the budget that you've currently got in. They will enter a default budget for you, which you can adjust and you can also adjust the duration of your ad, but I wouldn't go any further than having it live for seven days. You can see improving the budget, increasing the budget has improved my daily results. Remember that those are only an estimate. I'm also going to change where I'm advertising. You might wish to just advertise on Facebook or perhaps include Instagram and Messenger in, in alongside that as well. I can see a preview of my ad over on the right hand side there and just check on the top right that you're using the correct ad account. Once you're happy, you can click go live at the bottom and this will boost your post. 
So to recap, here are a few tips for finding your target audience on social media. Use social media analytics tools. Research your audience. Monitor your competition. And use social media advertising. Finding your target audience on social media requires a combination of analysis and research. By gathering data and paying attention to trends and patterns, you can get a better sense of where to find your target audience online and how to reach them.